Hey guys, it's Ren from Makeup by Ren Ren, and I've been wearing a specific brand of eyeshadows for the last three weeks, and they're the only eyeshadows I've been wearing. So if you want to find out which ones they are, stay tuned for the review. Hey guys, it's Ren Ren. I am back with another video, and today I'll be reviewing... Ta-da! These are Yabby eyeshadow palettes. So, let's get started. I have been interested in purchasing these Yabby palettes for probably almost a year now. Um, they are they are something that I've seen in other makeup artist kits, and the fact that there are so many eyeshadows in a palette really appealed to me. So I'm gonna go ahead and start um, with the first one right here which is the most popular. It's the Best of Both Worlds palette. Like so. And I know that um, Encore did a review on it. And um, one of my blogger friends, May, from Faces by May, also has this in her kit. And as you can see, it comes in a palette. There are 40 colors. And this is the Best of Both Worlds palette, meaning that it has a combination of the shimmer eyeshadows with the regular ones and they put this came like this like the mixture of colors first of all it has a mirror which is really great because you know a lot of palettes don't and these little things right here they pop out like that see see how it's sticking to it it's because it's magnetic so the good thing about these palettes are that they are refillable and they're about the size of a dime. That's the difference between, um, one of the differences between these and the, um, the large, like, 180, 88 palettes is that you can refill the colors, you can put the colors however you want. So if you run out, it's not a big deal. And, um, I will say that my favorite colors are the, um, the shimmer colors in here just because they're so pigmented. And I'm going to swatch some of my favorites for you. Hey guys, we have a quick commercial break and I'm going to interrupt the currently playing program to tell you guys a few things. Um, first of all, there will be a couple of new formatting changes to my blog and I wanted to tell you that really quick. I'm going to basically put a couple of new titles, um, just format it differently because I just want to make my videos bigger and better than ever. So I need your guys' help. Um, if you have any suggestions, please let me know. And if you haven't already, pretty please, please, please go to the little yellowish orange box on the side of the screen and hit subscribe if you haven't done so already. Just because I'm trying to make my YouTube channel just a great and um, I need your help. And so if you haven't already done it, please, pretty please subscribe. I'll be your best friend. And um, just really quickly before we get back to the video, this is another look from Yabby Cosmetics palette. I want to do a look using the matte colors. So I use my t-shirt as inspiration. But um, that's it for now. Make sure to check back in on Wednesday where I'll be doing my next video. And that's it for this short commercial break. So back to regular programming. Like I am wearing um, the eyeshadows on my eyes and it's with like a regular base I always wear when I'm wearing makeup. So for example, here's like a teal color. See how they come out so bright? This purple is one of my favorites. Then you have another one of my favorites. It's this hot pink color right here. And then I also really love the, I like this cranberry color right here. See how they're extremely pigmented? I also really like this dark matte navy blue right here. They are very pigmented. They go on and blend really smoothly. I would say the shimmer, shimmer ones are a little bit more pigmented than the matte colors, but the matte colors are still as bright. Um, they do have a little bit of fallout. As you can see, there's like some residue on the palette. So when using these, I would suggest that you do your eyes first, or you could do the powder trick, putting some translucent powder underneath, sweeping it away. What I like to do when I do makeup with um, things that are kind of loose, is I'll take a tissue and I'll just place it under here and I'll hold it with my 
um, non-dominant hand. And then I'll just apply my um, eyeshadow like that so that it falls here. And then I don't have to worry about cleaning up after. So um, that's this palette. And I also got the, um, the, the colorful palette. And the colors are just amazing. Um, I'll swatch some of my favorites. This is definitely one of my favorites right here. It's like a hot pink. See that? I also really love from this palette um, the purples. See? They have a red too, which they don't have a lot in palettes. So I was excited about that. Really pigmented. Bunch of greens. This one right here, like they look like dupes of MAC eyeshadows. There's a, a club look-alike, there's um, a bottle green look-alike. Um, I'm going to swatch this like lilac purple right here. So as you can see, they go on really bright. And I've been using this for two weeks straight. I have been totally avoiding my MAC eyeshadows and I've just been using these two palettes. For the last two weeks every single time I've done makeup. So I've done probably like 10 looks with them and they're really good. I was extremely happy with these palettes right here. Um, I was really impressed because I, you know, I have a fear that when you get things with the tiny eyeshadows, you know, in palettes like this that they're not going to be as pigmented and you have to use a super big, super good base. So I was really happy with them and I would definitely suggest them. The good thing about them is that it comes in a small palette so it's not like a huge one which is hard to lay around and the palette is really it's very secure it's made out of hard plastic it's not cardboard like some of the other palettes so this is pretty indestructible and the, ma the magnets on them are really strong they're, they're not going to fall out and like I said you can choose any color you want. They have like hundreds of colors so if you know you could get it like this or you could get your own palette. The only colors that I was, I was hoping that would be in um, the best of both worlds palette would have been um, a matte black but they have a shimmery one right here but I like a really dark matte black and I use this high color, highlight color a lot which is really bright and great. I have it on right now. That's a highlight color. I would have wished there was a little bit more highlight colors in a black, but whatever, it's fine because I could always take one out, just pop one out like that, and then put whatever I want in. So I really, really like this palette. Um, just, I really hardly have any complaints. Um, super pigmented. If you're a makeup artist, this is perfect for you to throw in your kit because it fits really small. It's smaller than a MAC palette. And it has 40 colors already. They have a neutral palette as well. So they have the bright palette, the neutral palette, and the best of both worlds palette. Um, so I would definitely suggest in get, getting these. The eyeshadows are extremely high quality. I would say some of them are better than MAC eyeshadows. Some of them are the same and some of them are, aren't as good. But, you know, for the most part, a lot of MAC eyeshadows as well, you're, they're not your favorites. Like some of the lessers, you know. So really really good deal you can get these at yabbycosmetics.com it's a canadian company for you canadians out there or you can get them from camerareadycosmetics.com so what are you guys waiting for check it out um like i said i am wearing the colors right now and i'll show you which ones i'm wearing i'm wearing the highlight color is this right here then I'm wearing a bright shimmery blue here. Then I'm wearing this dark purple. And that's it. And they blend really, really well, as you can see. Oh, actually, I'm wearing this color, too, in the middle. I forgot. I'm wearing that. So, just such a great deal. I'm definitely going to be using this and over and over on my clients. And I would highly, highly suggest it. YabbyCosmetics.com So that's my review. If you have any questions, hit me up. And have a great night. Ciao, Bella.